first of all, it takes long for the championship. Uh, it's, a, it's a workout, a 28 game for one. Uh, we haven't really been out there bowling a lot, so how does it feel for you? Uh, it is a lot of games. 28 games in two days uh, takes a toll on the body, especially the older we get. But, uh, you know, with, with really not any full competition in the last, for me, probably eight months because I didn't make the playoffs or any of the, the other events. Um, so it's been probably eight months. And, uh, I mean, we can bowl at home all we want. It, it, you can't do anything to try and really prepare or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know to, to be able to compete like we do out here you, yeah. just, you just can't replicate you can't do it well the the greatest um, honor in the sport of bowling is to be in the PBA Hall of Fame and this year you're eligible for the PBA Hall of Fame because of your incredible accomplishments, being you know, Player of the Year, ten titles, uh, all the things you've done in the PBA League, you're the king of bowling. Let's face it, you're the king of the land. Um, and so, your name was put to a vote of the PBA Hall of Famers and our committee, and you have been unanimously voted into the PBA Hall of Fame because the history of bowling cannot be told without Wes Malott. Oh, I'm glad to be able to tell you in person. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. Did you what think that honor. when you were a kid? I, you know, I, I knew the time was coming soon. I honestly, I didn't know exactly when I was eligible. Um, I wasn't sure if it was last year or this year. I knew it was coming though. Um, and it's funny. I had a feeling. Um, it might be coming, and it, I just had a thought a while ago, and it's earlier today. It's I always didn't believe in myself when I was younger, and that's why I was so late coming out on tour. Um, I kind of see that in my son Jordan a little bit, just doubting himself sometimes. And if I could tell anybody out there, go try it. Believe in yourself, and. You know, just go do it. Don't hold back. Don't doubt yourself. Give yourself a chance. And uh, so I'm, I mean, and I'm very fortunate because I didn't have all of the, you know, the, the parents that own a bowling center or parents that own a pro shop like me and, you know, my kids growing up or anything like that. And so it's, I've had a lot of people, I have a ton of people to thank, but for the most part, growing up, I kind of taught myself. You know, the, the Hall of Fame uh, dinner this year is going to be in Akron, Ohio, at the Tournament of Champions. Saw that. So it's going to be an awesome night. I mean, we're talking about the night before in the home of the PBA in Akron, Ohio, where it all began. Tournament of Champions going on, so all the all the champions will be in attendance, all the industry will be in attendance, and uh, we'll get a chance to to honor you. I mean, everyone just enjoyed watching your career and how you fight, uh, and just how you carry yourself as a professional and what you've meant for all the kids growing up. And so, you know, we thank you for that. Absolutely, and you, you kind of mentioned something there that kind of hit home a little bit. I bowled with uh, one of the kids who made the show. Here, uh, Bailey. Yeah. And uh, a whole day yesterday, he was just, you know, I've looked up to you. You still throw it so smooth. I could, I could take you one time and just replay it and replay it and replay it. I'm like, come on. I'm, you know, my elbow doesn't bend the way it used to. Or it bend, it doesn't straighten out the way it used to. You know, I, I know what my body feels. But at the same time, it's just really. It, again, it, it just it makes you think back to all the years that have gotten this, gotten me to this point, and to even think about the Hall of Fame is incredible. But you know, and it, again, it's you know, you hear kids talk to you like that, and I call them kids. I mean, he's out here competing; he's 22, 23. But it's really, really cool to know that I've had just a, a little bit of impression on somebody um, the way that I have. So it's, you know, I've always taken pride in how I've presented myself and 
how I do it. It's, it's no different than the pro shop business. I, clearly, I love doing the pro shop business, so it's a way that I can give back to the sport that's been so good to me. But I'll, and also use some of my craftsmanship in a way. And but I continue to do it. I mean, I had an opportunity to to go a couple different options, and I continue doing the pro shop business because I, I just it's a way I can give back again to the sport. Not only to, to that, but I can help people out who love the game. I can still help for a, a long time people who have sponsored me and supported me. And it's a way I can help sell their products. Continue and. It, it's just a win-win for everybody. We, we appreciate it. We appreciate everything you do for the game. And you're going to be able to thank a lot of people at the Hall of Fame dinner and uh, when you're officially enshrined. But uh, you've been inducted unanimously in the PBA Hall of Fame. And you know, for me, I love making this call every year. Someone gets in, and, and I've never been able to do it in person. And so I've seen you here this week, uh, and the vote just came in a couple of days ago. Um, it's a great opportunity for everybody to uh, to be able to see this happen. So congratulations. Thank you for me. And thank you on behalf of the PBA and all the ballers. Thanks, Robert. Tom, thank you for everything you've done as well. Thank you.